Hello, my name is Wade Nomura, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. Today we're going to take a look at one of those local impacts where community is being reached out and helped by Rotary. And with us today we have two special guests. We have Kathy and Bruce McGee. Welcome. Thank you. So, uh, Kathy, we're going to start with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a retired educator. I am a, sort of a baby Rotarian. I'm on the board of our Rotary Club, and I'm also on the board of the Ventura Botanic Gardens. Great. So I'm, I'm busy and I love it. <laughs> that, Two that, really important community. Is, great, great. Thank items. you. Yes. How about you, Bruce? Hi, Wade. Thanks hey. for having us. This is fun. <laughs> Uh, 20 year Rotarian. I was in the Santa Paula Club. I was president there 05, 06, and then I'm past president of Ventura East Club. Got it. So, how did you get involved with Rotary? Um, I was running restaurants, and a lot of the customers were Rotarians, and they kept bugging me to join. And I said, How am I going to leave a restaurant <laughs> and come to Rotary meetings? And I'm glad I did. So, I had about 80 secret shoppers working for me after that. <laughs> Great. Well, I have a question. I'm sure the audience probably want to know this. Is that a Santa Paula accent or? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, Santa Paula and a little bit of Australia. Australia. <laughs> okay, great. Um, and uh, you said, Kathy, you were retired now uh, from, from education? Yes. And where were you at before that then? Where were you actually uh, working? Um, well, I started my career working in Australia. Okay. Uh, that's where I met Bruce, and we came over in 1982 after our son was born um, to stay for 18 months. And it's our son is 34 now, so it was a little bit longer <laughs> a little <laughs> than longer. 18 months. <laughs> right, um, right. I finished my career teaching at Mupu School in Santa Paula. It's um, unique to California um, in that it's one of a number of one school school districts, and it was a really wonderful place to teach. Well, that sounds great. So uh, how did you get into Rotary? Um, Bruce was in Rotary, and he was president, and I thought, well, if you can't beat them, you need to join them, <laughs> and I'm really glad I did. It's a, it's a wonderful club, and I'm excited by the power and the things that Rotary does, both internationally and in Ventura and Santa Paula. And true. It's just exciting to be <laughs> part of it. That is true. How about you, Bruce? 20 years Rotarian. That's a long time there. So how'd you get in? Well, yeah, I, I was invited in by local folks and just enjoyed the fellowship, enjoyed the business relationships, but especially enjoyed doing social activities and raising some money. Okay. Uh, that, that Santa Paula Club has a long tradition of activities um, culminating in the pumpkin patch that they right. did this year. Uh, the Ventura East Club does a lot of work with scholarships. We hand out forty, fifty thousand dollars a wow. year in scholarships, wow. which has a big impact on ten, twelve high school students in Ventura. Mm -hmm. So, just good fellowship, good opportunity to give back to the community. That's great. That is great. Now, question for you: Since you have twenty years' experience. Have you ever experienced what we call a rotary moment? Something where you had the aha, that's why I'm in rotary? Um, uh, I th definitely, it would have been working at the pumpkin patch yeah. eight years ago. And I was actually, I stepped in for the manager and the place was filling up. We had about 20 acre site and there were a thousand people and things were clicking, but it was, the second day we'd ever run it. And somebody from the Moore Park Rotary walked up to me that has done a lot of big activities and he said, so how does it feel? And uh, he said, is this a bit like holding onto a tiger's tail and <laughs> wondering what's gonna happen? But just seeing the community get involved and how much money was raised right. was definitely a Rotary moment for me. That, wow, we can really make a difference. Yeah. And that's a great event, by the way, too. Outstanding event. Mm -hmm. How about you, Kathy? Have you had the opportunity? Um, yes. I Before I was Rotarian, Bruce and I went to Copenhagen to the International Conference. Oh. And I was 
incredibly moved and excited by and astounded by the number of projects that were being done throughout the world, small projects, big projects, the range of them. It just, I was, I, I was so moved by that. It just stays in my heart that Rotary just sees a need and gets in there and we do it. That was a great uh, convention also. I forgot you guys were there. Uh, yes, we enjoyed it, that quite a bit. That was. was one of the better ones. Yeah, <laughs> well organized. And, so let's okay. jump into this one. Let's talk about the uh, Ventura Botanical Gardens and how you got involved with that one. Um, so we'll put a first picture up there. We'll take a look at this. Gives you a conceptual of that, and uh, you can give us a little background on the project, how you got involved. We'll start mm -hmm. with you, Kathy. Um, the gardens itself was um, the brainchild of a wonderful uh, Rotarian and friend of mine named Midge Stork. She was in Wisconsin in 2005 and in Janesville and found a, um, a wandered uh, into the Botanic Gardens. And she came back to Ventura and said to her acquaintances, we could do this. So a group of people got together in her living room and they spent um, a lot of time planning and then they went out and looked for sites and um, the site they kept returning to was the 107 acres above City Hall right in the heart of Ventura. And that's where it all began. In um, 2015, we signed a lease, so we have a public-private partnership with the city of Ventura, and uh, we're we're good to go. <laughs> we're we're saddled up, and that is, that is mm -hmm. great. Uh, so you, I take it you bought into this one right away, then. Yeah. Well, it was one of those "What will I do when I retire?" moments, and Midge who I was getting to know at Rotary said, why don't you come over for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> so the rest is history. That I was so true. excited to hear that there was that kind of uh, project, that sp scope going on in the city of Ventura. Very true. And Midge, by the way, uh, she's uh, very persistent. <laughs> she's been working on me for about four or five years too. <laughs> so I know that she's very good, but has that passion to get this done. She does. You couldn't have a better person leading that. That's exactly right. <laughs> True. That's exactly True. right. And how about yes. you, Bruce? How did you get involved with this one? Kathy got involved, and I went up to the site, and I thought, this is a great activity for Kath and a great activity for the community. And it kind of dawned on me that Rotary's really active, and there's thousands of clubs around the world, but not that good at PR and not that good at letting the community know what they're doing, which is important to attract more members. And it struck me that this gardens could be something like Golden Gate Park in 20 or 30 years. Why not get in early and help the gardens along, but also get the word out about Rotary? So that, that's what struck me about the gardens. That's a great idea. You know, having traveled quite a few countries in the world and seen botanic gardens and seen all the rotary signs, especially back in Australia, rotary is a lot more visible. True. You know, I just thought this is a great opportunity. Perfect. Sounds good. Well, let, let's, let's swing through this one. Um, Bruce, I'll let you lead the, this part of it then. So we have our first uh, PowerPoint up there showing uh, a view. Uh, it's a rendering. So, uh, so that view is an overview behind City Hall in Ventura mm -hmm. of the 100-acre site. Okay. So what you're seeing is the master plan that involves five biomes okay. from around the world, all Mediterranean climates. So it's South Africa, Australia, the Mediterranean, Chile, and of course Ventura. So we'll have five different zones based on those biomes and that's basically the dream. Got it. So uh, that's the um, aerial view, uh, the overview of it specific. So we're, we're looking at that one then. Now, Rotary, is it going to be involved with all of it, or are you guys going to do a portion of that? At this stage, we're involved in the uh, Rotary site is in the center of the gardens. Okay. So there'll, there's one existing trail. There'll be other trails added on, but they'll all converge 
at this confluence site that will be the rotary site. Got it. Got it. So um, you, had, you, you spoke about it on this picture here. We show the uh, Chilean Gardens illustration of that one. Did you want to go over that one? Since, uh, um, yes. The um, brown square that you see at the top shows the area where Rotary Plaza is, mm -hmm. um, will be. Um, the round oval shows the exact area that it is. It's a 1,600 square foot area. It um, would include a donor wall. It would include the rotary wheel. And as time goes on, um, we'd like to, of course, include the four-way test. We feel that's really important that the public sees that. And um, when, as we were doing research, we realized that Paul Harris, who founded Rotary, um, had a garden that he called the Friendship Garden. Right. And he would plant a tree when, you know, in honor of people who came. And um, he was also a hiker. And that's how he met his wife, apparently. Mm -hmm. So we felt that being part of this area that's uh, walking and, and, and a garden is just just follows right along with nice. that. Nice. And um, geographically, it ends up being at the top of the garden, too, so you it's, overview everything. Yes, it's the very heart of the garden. It's where everything will come together. Um, there are a couple of more trails planned. Uh, there is development above it and a large section below it. Um, the future includes a tram stop, and that um, the Rotary Plaza right. will be the first tram stop, too, nice. um, to get people up in moving around the garden. You got it, okay. Mm -hmm. your, next, your next slide shows the actual plaza, some details of that. Mm -hmm. um, we were so excited uh, when Andy Spurlock, who is a landscape architect, joined the effort and um, des started designing the garden. Um, he's done the Phoenix Desert Garden, the Botanical Garden, and he also has um, designed the Getty Center Gardens. Wow. So to have him come in and um, and hear us and feel the dream was really, really exciting. That is great. Some of the details I would say in the uh, Rotary Plaza, you want to go over some of those with us? Mm -hmm. um, I had mentioned the donor wall that mm -hmm. will be there. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be a rotary wheel and the four-way test and again a, a little history of Paul Harris. Um, it's a gathering area, a rest stop for walkers and joggers. Um, it's ADA accessible, uh, and it's kind of a meeting and performance area. There is no formal seating in the plaza okay. um, because um, we felt that, or the, the landscape architect um, felt that it would be the opening to the entire development going down the hill. Um, we are able to move tables and chairs in because the road is right there, and that's actually what we did at a gathering on November 20th, mm -hmm. and it worked quite well. And the um, items below it, showing some of the amenities, that's going to be done then as, in a different phase, is that correct? Yes, yes it is. Um, there are a number of gathering places. Um, there's a dry creek bed because the major drainage for the canyon goes right down um, kind of past Rotary Plaza and down into the canyon. Uh, there are bridges over the top of that. There are seating areas. There are a number of areas that would accommodate 25 people, 50 people, and then there's a beautiful area that would accommodate 200 people. And that we see is um, in the future a wonderful uh, performance venue. Nice. Um, and an educational area too because that's a large portion of the garden that We'd love to have kids come and adults come and learn about this wonderful place we live. Great, great. So the part that you're going to be doing, the Rotary Plaza, actually, that, is that going to be the kickoff, the, uh, the initial installation, or is it all going to be simultaneous? Yes, yes it is. The okay. landscape architect felt that Rotary Plaza was a really important area to develop first. Um, along with the Welcome Center, which um, we have plans and we're shovel ready with that at Great. the base of the hill, so that we'll kind of have two anchors. We'll have I Rotary see. Plaza at the top where the trails meet, and we'll also have the Welcome Center at the bottom. Got it. So actually, you got both ends of it then completed. That's Everything right. Everything in the middle gets developed that's later right. on. That's right. It's mm -hmm. a great idea. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So the next picture you have shows another uh, rendering. Yes, that, um, that picture shows, um, shows what the plaza would look like and what the views would look like if you were standing on 
the roadway looking into the entrance okay. to the plaza. And you can see as you look further down um, the various seating and um, meeting areas. And um, it was pointed out to me, which I didn't know, that through um, the, the plans that Andy has made, he's put in V's oh. through the plan. And you can actually see there are two red um, things sticking up <laughs> from the um, right, performance right. venue, and that's something to kind of focus. And you know, this is Ventura. Oh, got so it. that was a really neat little thing that I learned just the that other day. That is fascinating. I had never noticed it before either. I've yes, seen this rendering. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> that uh -huh. is good. Yeah, uh, breathtaking views from up there. That's all I can say. They I mean, are. I, mean, I think. Um, I to me, anyone going into Ven, coming into Ventura for the first time, you can walk around downtown and you can go onto the pier, but when you get to the gardens, you see how Ventura is placed on the coast. And more importantly, you see uh, Channel Islands National Park, which is an absolute treasure. And I think a lot of people don't realize that Ventura is one of the main ways that we get out to access that true. national park. That is true. Hmm. So. And also on that view corridor, if you pull a little bit farther to the right, you look right straight down the pier. So yes. I thought that was kind of neat, too. Yes. I never saw from up there that high. Yes. <laughs> that is nice. Yes. So the next picture you have shows a desert scape. Yes, this is um, in the gardens. Um, we have an amazing man who is our executive director. This is Joe Cahill's photo. Um, he's a botanist, he's a lawyer, and we are so blessed to have him as our executive director. This is one of his photos um, on one of the um, viewpoints at the gardens. Um, people we see on social media on a regular basis, um, people posting pictures and saying, oh my gosh, did you see the sunset from the gardens today? Or, and we do have one, um, Phil Ranger has made uh, a collection of photographs um, at the gardens with um, all seasons, times of day, sunrise, sunset. Beautiful, just yeah. a beautiful That spot. is a beautiful picture right there that you have. Yes. I love that one. Yes. Then your next one, uh, Legacy of a Lifetime. Yes, um, this is a rendering of one of the performance places that um, could, is in the plans. And I'm going to look at it because the print is pretty small. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> on, on the slide. Well, while you're looking, let, yes. let's back up on something. The, the gardens has been planned now for 10 years. Wow. And the, the board has got to the point now where the environmental impacts are done. All the planning's done, the city approvals are done, and they've worked feverishly for eight years to get there. So now anything that happens is actually physical things that you can see. Got it. All that planning and bureaucracy that everybody <laughs> enjoys so much, that's all behind us. That's great. Yeah. great. And I think um, to add on to that, um, Joe Cahill um, is our executive director and his is a paid position and we have a part-time fundraiser. There are hundreds and hundreds of people who volunteer on a weekly and daily basis to move rocks, to improve trails, mm. to do plantings. And I think that's what makes this project unique because so many people are invested in in being there and, and building it as we go. And the, um, it's been a phenomenal amount. The, the ball is rolling more and more quickly. Um, and it's now, been now wonderful do you have a guesstimate of how many volunteers you actually have doing this kind of work? I, wa I want to say hundreds. I'm not, I, I, didn't, I didn't look up how many, but it literally is hundreds. Oh, we great. have people who, um, you know, move the rocks and, and build, the, wow. build the walls and um, improve the trail and do the planting. Um, so many, many. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine that. I, I've seen the work that's being done. It's well done work. Yes. So I knew for a fact that it takes time to do that kind yes. of work. Yes, it does. <laughs> it does. Great. Um, this slide, um, Doug Halter is um, past president and a founding member of the board of the Ventura Botanic Gardens. Um, and I think he said it absolutely best. So I'll read his words. We're creating a park 
that will be as important as the Golden Gate Park is to San Francisco. It won't be built in a day or even a year, but it's the legacy of a lifetime. And I think Rotary needs to be part of that legacy. Mm, definitely so. We have the pier. Um, we have um, people who built the mission way back when. We have some beautiful buildings in downtown. And this is our chance to um, make this, this area happen. We, people on the, it's interesting to see who's on the trail. Um, most of them are families. Uh, we have dogs on the trail. We have a large contingent of, contingent of Hispanic families on the trail. We've had international visitors stop by. Um, it's been amazing how, in its very infancy, the way the garden is that we're attracting as many people as we do. That's true. It's a, it's a beautiful trail. Uh, how long is it, by the way? Um, it's a mile. The, oh, it is a mile. Uh huh. Okay. It is. It kind of winds and yeah, turns. Yeah. Um, there's more. There's another trail above it, which adds on to the mile. Is that going to be part of the project also then? Um, there are a couple of sites that um, families in Ventura have um, um, purchased um, uh, uh, an area and there might be a bench there or a, you know several other installations. Mm -hmm. And um, so there's a trail there that goes all the way up to, nice. um, up, up way to the top. <laughs> way up to the very top. <laughs> yes, yes. And then our, our last picture we have uh, actually shows a, I would say it's your, your groundbreaking. Would that be something uh, correct? It was our uh, fundraising okay. breaking, if you will. <laughs> okay. It was our, it's actually the third combined meeting that we've had up on the hill of the three Ventura Rotary Clubs. But this time, we weren't talking about a dream. We were talking about how do we get there. Yeah. So uh, we've established that we're raising $250,000. So the meeting on the 20th of November, there are about 50 people there, which was wonderful, from the three different clubs. And we raised $50,000 that day. Wow. We already have a pledge for 50,000 from another anonymous Rotarian. Uh, we have another event next Monday night and lots of plans to finish this project off. But the goal is 250. We're at 100, so we're 40% yeah. of the way there. That's great. Now, Bruce, give me your vision on, on Rotary. How, how is the project and Rotary going to tie together, not only the site, but also with the people you're working with, the Botanical Garden Committee, uh, the group like that? Well, well, we'll just have the presidents of each club standing on the site and signing up people to join Rotary. It's <laughs> a good idea. The, um, no, the, the vision is to have the Rotary wheel, to have the four-way test, and let people see it. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a wonderful story that is told by one of the board members of, he was walking the trail and picking up some trash and just cleaning things up and looking after it. And he came across a family and a little boy was picking up trash. And I don't know exactly what he said, but essentially it was, I'm cleaning up my trail in my park. <laughs> and nice. I, that's part of the vision as well, that the community not only will enjoy the outdoors and enjoy that beautiful garden, but as they're traveling through it, they'll see the four-way test and hopefully that will prompt some questions with mom and dad and the kids. Yeah. I wonder what that's all about. Let's yeah. read that. Yeah. So I think that's good outreach for Rotary. It is. It's a great one. Um, reaching out to communities specific, that makes a big difference. And uh, definitely is uh, visible where you guys select it. <laughs> it's going to get the message out quickly. I think there's something really special, too, about being outdoors moving and having community. And Doug Halter, whose quote I read, talks often about this is a place for community. This is to build memories and, 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 be, and be a family and be, be part of Ventura and part of the larger world on the California coast and in the United States and in the world. Very so. true, very true. As you uh, move forward, 
Are, are there plans of Rotary staying involved with the rest of the overall development? Or are we gonna, are you going to plan on stopping pretty much with that Rotary Plaza? Because I know you're going to be involved. I mean, it, it's the complete package is the vision. Right. Okay. But, but it is great. Well, let's just say that we've been working hard on this for 18 months. And we'd like to get this phase of the project finished. But the sky's the limit for the community being involved in the whole project. And this is only phase one, there's five phases. It's probably 15, 20 year project. So I doubt that Rotary will stop at this. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully other service clubs and other mm -hmm. community and other folks will want to get involved as well. Mm -hmm. One thing, uh, being international, it seems an opportunity then to reach out to those kind of partners that you have worldwide to show, show the beauty that Ventura has. Um, different parts of the world, uh, the exchange with MB, doing the same back, reciprocating back. Have you thought about that part of it? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. For example, uh, Santa Paula or maybe Australia, would that be <laughs> potential partners right there? Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Um, my dad is sending some money over from Melbourne as, oh, right? as we speak to, <laughs> oh, to, perfect. to be involved. But yeah, again, just from looking at it from the Rotary perspective, there's all sorts of possibilities to involve not just Ventura clubs, but the 5240, our local area, uh, other clubs around the country, and yeah. you know, Chilean clubs. Yeah. South African clubs, because there'll be a garden there. So well, as spectacular as the view is, I can see people coming around the world to look at that specific view, and that's the Rotary Plaza. Mm -hmm. It mean, is. It is impressive. <laughs> and it's between yeah. Los Angeles and San Francisco, and it's, um, it's a very accessible um, place, too. It's all, you're off the freeway, and you park, and you're there. Um, right, and right. that's what makes it so special too, right, sure. in the, right in the heart of downtown. You don't have to wander the foothills and look, it's right there. Good point, good so. point. And that trail kind of puts you out there in the country. You have no idea that you're that close to the city. That's it's right, like, that's <laughs> all right. All of a sudden it it's just real serene. Yes, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. but it will be a, become a destination stop in Ventura. And it that will be. help the local economy as well. Well, uh, I want to thank the both of you for coming, for participating, and for sharing your vision. I think it's a great one. Uh, with you. that, everybody, uh, take a look at the uh, Ventura, Ventura Botanical Gardens. See what they have to offer there. And if you can, participate in it because it's going to be a lifelong legacy. It's a beautiful area, and you wouldn't want to miss it. With that, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>